everyone, welcome back to Handmade. I'm AV, and if you're wondering who's AV, I'll tell you just a little bit more about myself. I'm the creator of avdoeswhat.com because quite frankly, AV does a lot. I love all different types of crafts, but upcycling is my square. And I'm gonna show you how to upcycle this tray right now. Let's get started. I've had this tray for a while, but I wanted to give it a little bit more razzle dazzle. So I'm going to paint the inside with acrylic white paint, add some rose petals, gold leaf, and finish it off with resin to make it food safe. We have our white paint, gonna just shake it up a little bit, use a foam brush, and start painting the inside. Now, you want to paint using long, thin strokes and letting it dry in between coats. Personally, I like to go with the grain. I just think it makes it smoother. You don't wanna forget the sides. This coat is done. I'm gonna let it dry to a couple more coats just so it's opaque. I'm going to use a large flat brush just to smooth out any texture that the foam brush might have left. So now we're going to add our gold leaf to the bottom of the tray. I'm going to use some decoupage glue and we're gonna work in small sections. So we're gonna just get some glue right there and then add gold leaf to it, flatten it out some. And it doesn't have to be completely flat, but you want to get a good amount of it flat to the bottom of the tray. A little lift just adds dimension to our tray once the resin is on top of it. And you can just go in different parts of the tray. I decided to do this design because I wanted it to be kind of like organic, just not, okay, this is gold here, this is gold there, but just kind of, you know, freeform. And if you have some gold leaf that's not secured down by the decoupage glue, that's fine because the resin is just gonna go right over it. Now that we've added all of our bling, it is time to add some rose petals. You have to make sure they are completely dry. If not, it'll make the resin act really like wonky and nobody wants that. I'm cutting it a little bit smaller just so I can ensure that it'll lay flat in the resin. I chose the rose petals because I love like reusing what I have. I bought them as fresh flowers. They dried and I was tired of making potpourri, honestly. So, something different. You can put anything you want and you can cover it with resin. Bottle tops, coins, I mean, if you have the money, <laughs> you can put coins and cover it with resin, stamps, anything that is flat enough that the resin will cover over it. So the choice is yours. I just like roses and gold. You know how like everyone has like their default design, like, oh, you know, this, you know what this can use? Bling, like that is like my go-to for everything. Just makes me so happy on the inside. Mm, I think this needs a little bit more gold, so we're going to add some more. Bling, bling, oh. all my bling down, all my roses down on the tray. I'm gonna show you guys how to mix resin and we're gonna pour it right on this tray. Follow the instructions on your kit, but this one is a one-to-one -one ratio and you wanna make sure you follow that to a T. So first, we are going to take the hardener and I have my cup already pre-marked. It's super important that you use cups that you don't intend on using again because you won't be able to use it again. <laughs> now we're gonna pour our resin on top of the hardener. And once I pour it to the second line, I will begin mixing it for two minutes. So you wanna make sure you get the sides and the bottom. After I finish stirring for two minutes, I'm going to pour in an additional cup and mix for another minute. You transfer it into another cup because you wanna make sure it's thoroughly mixed. Now that you're done mixing, you're going to pour directly onto the tray. You want to just go back and pour. 
You can use your craft stick to move the resin around. You can also make another batch to fill in any gaps. After about five to 10 minutes, you're going to start to see some bubbles form. The instructions say to breathe, not blow on it, but breathe on it like a creep. But I am going to use a heat gun. And you want to just lightly go across. You can alternate between high and low heat. But yes, use a heat gun or your breath, not a blow dryer. But by all means, feel free to be a creep if you don't have a heat gun. Now that I've removed all the air bubbles, you're going to cover your tray with a cardboard box. But in my case, because I am a thrifting upcycler, I have a draw from a desk. I'm going to let this cure overnight and you'll have your resin tray. so many different ways that you can use this tray. The great thing about resin is that it's food safe. So you can even use it as a dessert tray. How do you plan to use your tray? Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye.